the icevi the nippon foundation mathematics package for teachers video series abacus as a mathematical tool title of the video abacus division adjustment of the assumed quotient in method 2 in the previous problem 3588 divided by 46 we started with the assumed quotient as 7 let us reset the problem in the abacus that is uh, 3588 in the extreme right side of the abacus and set the divisor 46 in the extreme left side of the abacus what did we do in setting the quotient uh, as the highest digit of the divisor is larger than the highest digit of the dividend there was no need to skip a column in setting the quotient we suggested that you always add one mentally to the highest digit of the divisor which is making it 5 and ask how many fives in 35 by saying 7 set it as the first digit of the quotient as this is only assumed it is possible that it may become the actual quotient or in some cases it may not be too let us demonstrate now what will happen when the assumed quotient is less than the real quotient and also the scenario when the assumed quotient is larger than the real quotient we took uh, the first digits of the dividend that was 35 if you had selected 6 as the assumed quotient what would have happened uh, don't worry carry on with the problem consider 3 5 8 of the dividend as in the case of multiplication multiply the divisor 46 with the assumed quotient 6 that is 4 multiplied by 6 uh, that is 24 that should be subtracted from the dividend which is giving a remainder of 11 now we should take 118 for the next step of the division now multiply 6 with the digit 6 of the dividend 46 you get 36 as the multiplied value this 36 should be subtracted from 118 that is 6 subtracted from 8 that gives 2 and 3 subtracted from 11 which will give you the remainder 8 that is you get the remainder 82 which is larger than the divisor 46 therefore your assumed quotient is not the real quotient what do we do now don't reset the problem ask how many 46s in 82 by saying 1 you simply add with the already set assumed quotient and thus altering the assumed quotient as 7 now multiply 1 with 46 by saying 46 46 must be subtracted from 82 that is 5 subtracted in the hundreds column and added 1 in the same column and then for subtracting 6 in the tens column you subtract 1 in the hundreds column and add 4 in the tens column now the remaining number is 368 now consider 368 and proceed as in the previous case here also the assumed quotient is selected as mentioned earlier 